Hello everyone. Welcome to HappyMath.com. Today, we will assist you how to create the box plot with a single data set. So look at this data, please. So, uh, as an example, I generated 30 sample data. This depends on how many data you collect, but this time, we will be using 30 data set. So, before creating the box plot, we want to organize this data as a category, then minimum to quartile 1, quartile 2, under the name median, and quartile 3, and maximum and range. Okay. Minimum means the smallest data set. So, when you look at this data, I already organized ascending order, so I'm very sure. So 15 is our minimum data set. So I'm gonna click that and make an equal sign and click minimum data set, enter. Now the maximum is, as you know, the largest one. So I'm gonna click equal sign and click the biggest data set and enter. Then automatically record minimum and maximum data here. So, here's the thing here. Why not I just type in 15 and 35? And instead, I type in equal sign this data and equal sign this data. So, I temporarily switch this is 10. And let's see what happens. Then, after I switch in this is 10, my minimum also switch to 10 here. Okay? So, like that, if you just uh, making the equal to certain data set corner or select select data set here then whenever you switch data set they also update automatically that was the reason i'm doing equal to the particular data okay i go back to 15 anyway now the finding quartile one two and three so always equal first and then Type Q U A R T I L E and don't forget open the parentheses. Now select all this data and comma one close the parentheses. Okay. So the reason we put comma one later because that represent the quartile one. That's the reason. The quartile two means median. So here you have two different ways to find the quartile two. The first one, you can simply type median and open the parentheses and select all data and close the parentheses and enter. Or so you can also put quartile and select all this data and make comma 2, then you get exactly the same answer, okay? So here's the proof that the quartile 2 represents the median value. Now, quartile 3, just click equal sign, and Q-U-A-R-T-I-R-E, open the parentheses, and click this all data, and comma 3, plus the enter, okay? So now we found a uh, minimum and maximum, a uh, quartile one, two, and three here. Okay, so let's find our range, and then we start creating the box plot graph. So range means maximum minus minimum. So you may guess what I'm doing. So just make equal sign and maximum minus minimum, enter. So we found all five uh, important or basic value here. Okay, so let's start creating the box plot. So the creating box plot, we are not using those data set. The reason we create that, so we can double check our data set with graph later. Okay, so what do we do? So you click insert and then you click any this graph shape here. So beforehand, please select all this data and then click 
any graph shape, then unfortunately, there's nothing looks like a box plot here, right? Then you click more graph chart. Then you see a uh, box and whisker here. So click that and enter. So now I'm going to move a little bit up here so I can double check. So there's no number shown here. So you, we cannot compare whether this uh, table synchronized our data set here. So what I want to do, right click and add data label. Oh, oh my God, look at here. So other value are all the same, but the core type one is a little different here, right? So now we need to adjust it because we are uh, on that setting and something is not kind of synchronized what we are doing. That's why it happened. So please click, right click again, and go to the last one, format data series. So now, on this part here, it excludes median, but we want to include median, so click inclusive median, and it switch to 18 again, right? So don't forget, you switch as inclusive median. Okay, so we fix everything, and then now our data, and then box plot label, they are equal to each other. So we complete create that box plot. Now just a switch chart title, maybe age this time. I switched age here. Okay, so we are all done to creating the box plot. I hope this video helped you to understand how to create a box plot and I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye.